Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at a money topic, and that money topic is the greatest number or the maximum number. And that's where someone's got a certain amount of money and they want to buy as many of something as possible. And we may need to find out how many of those items that they can buy for the amount of money they've got. So here's our example. It says Amelia's got five pound to spend on rulers. So she's got five pound to spend on rulers and each ruler costs 40p. And the question says, work out the greatest number of rulers that she can buy. So Amelia's got five pound and she wants to buy as many rulers as she can and each one costs 40 p so we can do this in a couple of different ways one way would be to take the five pound and divide it by 40p and see how many 40p's go into five pound so using division and we could then find out how many rulers she could buy or another approach would be actually just to write down the multiples of 40 and that would be the working out the cost of buying the rulers so for instance she could buy one ruler which is 40p she could buy two rulers which is 80p and then another 40 would be 120 so that's one pound 20 so that's three rulers and then another 40 would be 160 one pound 60 add another 40p 200 add another 40p 240 add another 40p 280 add another 40p 320 add another 40p 360 add another 40p that would be 400 add another 40p 440 add another 40p 480 now she's only got five pound and each ruler costs 40p she's only got 20p left so she hasn't got enough money to buy that next ruler so this would be how many rulers she could buy she could buy one two three four Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So work out the greatest number of rulers that she can buy. The answer would be twelve, and she's got twenty p left over. And if the question says how much change would she have after buying those? 12 rulers the answer would be 20p but the question says how many rulers can she buy the answer is 12. the only thing is with that approach is if for instance she could buy 700 rulers if we were to write down you know keep adding 40 each time one that list would take a long time uh two we might make a mistake if you were to add 40 700 times you might make a mistake in that list um so it sort of increases the chances that you might make a mistake and working it out and it would just take far too long so that's one approach another approach is to use division so let's just get rid of that working out for the moment let's get rid of that and the question said each ruler costs 40p and she's got five pound so if we see how many 40p's go into five pound which is 500 pence that would tell us how many rulers she could buy so we want to do 500 divided by 40. so how many 40s go into five zero remainder five how many 40s go into 50 well there's one 40 and 50 so one remainder 10 and then how many 40s go into 100 well the multiples of 40 would be 40 80 120 well, we want to see how many 40s go into 100 well, that's one two we haven't got enough for the third one so one two so two and then that's 80 so the remainder would be 20 so 12 remainder 20. so the question says work out the number of rulers she can buy she's got enough for 12 rulers and she's got some money left over uh she got 20p left over uh but she's enough for 12 rulers so the answer would be how many rulers can she buy the answer is 12 and that's it okay let's have a look at our next example so our next question says connor's got 10 pound to spend on pencils and each pencil costs 60 pence work out the maximum number of pencils that he can buy so we could write down the multiples of 60 you know we could write say one pencil costs 60p two pencils cost 120p or one pound 20 and so on uh, but in this question i'm just going to use division he's got 10 pound which is 1000 pence and we're going to divide that by the cost of one pencil which is 60 pence and if we do a thousand divided by 60 it will tell us how many pencils he could buy so how many 60s go into one so that's zero remainder one. How many 60s go into 10? That's zero remainder 10. How many 60s go into 100? That's one remainder 40. And then we've got how many 60s go into 400? Well, let's consider the multiples of 60. That's 60, 120, 180. I'm actually just writing down the multiples of six and putting a zero on the end. 240, 300, 360, 420. So you want to see how many 60s go into 400. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have enough for the seven, so that's six so that's six and the remainder would be because that's 360 the remainder would be 40 because we had 400 so the remainder is 40. so how many 60s go into 1000 or in how many 60p pencils can he buy for 10 pound the answer would be 16 so 16 is the greatest number of pencils that he could buy and the remainder is 40 so that means he'd have 40p left over so he doesn't have enough for that last pencil and if the question says how much change will he receive the answer would be 40p okay let's have a look at our next question 
OK, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question is a calculator question. And the question says, a can of dog food costs £1.15, and Jessica's £30 to spend on dog food. Work out the greatest number of cans of dog food that Jessica can buy. So each can of dog food costs £1.15, and she's got £30. So if we divide the £30, how much money she has, the £30, so we do £30, divided by the cost of one can of dog food, which is £1.15, that would tell us our answer. Now, in this question, we could have done 3,000 divided by 115. We could have changed it into pence if we wanted to. I'd done that in the previous questions because we were going to be doing the division and I find it easier if they're, we're dealing with pence so we don't have those decimal numbers. But because this is a calculator question, we could just take the £30 and divide it by £1.15 or 1.15 and then that would tell us our answer. So if we take 30 and we divide it by 1.15, the answer would be 26.086956 and so on. So that means that Jessica can buy 26 and a bit cans of dog food. Food. Now, obviously, if she's going to this shop, she can't buy 26 and a bit of a can of dog food. So that means that she can buy 26 cans of dog food and she hasn't got enough money for the 27th. And that's it. So the question says, work out the greatest number of cans of dog food that Jessica can buy. The answer would be 26. And our next part says, how much change will she receive? So she can buy 26 cans of dog food. So I'm just going to write that down. She can buy 26 cans. So the cost of each can of dog food is £1.15, and if we times that by 26, that would tell us the grand total for how much 26 cans of dog food it would cost. So £1.15 multiplied by 26 would be equal to £29.90p. So that means that the cost of the 26 cans of dog food would be £29.90p. Now she had £30 to begin with, so that means that obviously if it's £29.90p, then her change would be 10p. It would be 10p change. And what we've done there is we've just taken the £30, how much money she had, we and then we took away the cost of the 26 cans of dog food, which was £29.90p, and the answer there would be 10p. And that's it. So how much change will she receive? 10p. So in this video, we've looked at how to find the greatest number or the maximum number of an item that can be purchased for a certain amount of money. And we've looked at how to do it using a list to write down all the multiples, so the cost of one item, two items, three items, four items, and so on. And we've also looked at how to do it using division and using our calculator. Also, we've looked at how to work out how much change will be left whenever that maximum number of items will have been purchased. And that's it. I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.